Online STAR tests enable accommodations that are more robust and easier to access for students who need them. I feel that the accommodations that are provided on the test help students demonstrate their understanding because those are the accommodations that are actually picked for those individual students. Content and language supports help students navigate complex words or phrases through clickable animations that can help students identify what certain words or phrases mean. CNL supports can also define or clarify certain words, phrases, and sentences using simplified language, synonyms, definitions, and examples. The accommodations that we use in class, they do transfer to the quizzes and tests and assessments. They're used to them, so they're able to just go on to the assessment and they recognize and know what to do on using those accommodations. Text-to-speech is also an embedded designated support on online STAR assessments. A student may select any eligible test question and answer choice to be read aloud or have all eligible parts of the test automatically read to them. Option B. The cake rises as gas bubbles form in the baking cake. With speech-to-text, students can write words by speaking them out loud on questions that require constructive responses. Whether the teacher reads it to them when they're in class, now they can log on to their test and the computer will read it to them. You know, whether they have a teacher sitting and helping them transcribe on paper or in the classroom setting, now they have speech to text where the computer will do that for them as well. Another type of accommodation is the use of calculation aids for grades three through seven math tests. They could use these accommodations with ease without becoming overstimulated or overwhelmed. It should be a comfort to them. This helps meet their needs so that they can show that they comprehend what they're learning to be successful while taking their exam.